Hello and welcome to Science and Technology Current Affairs series by Neo IS. The topic that we are going to deal today is the IRNIS. So now IRNIS actually stands for Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System and it also has another operational name which is NAVIC which basically stands for Navigation with Indian Constellation. Now coming and talking about what is basically this IRNIS, you have to understand this is an independent regional navigation satellite system. When I am talking about regional, it only gives its services of you know accurate positioning in a small region, not exactly a small region but in a specified region. It is different from that of GPS because GPS is a global positioning system wherein it can give its service all over the globe. However, with respect to IRNIS or NAVIC, it cannot give its services all over the globe. It is highly regional in basis. And what is this region? What is the area that IRNIS can actually give its services? That much region is actually the area of India and 1500 kilometers away from its boundary. That much area is what IRNIS or NAVIC actually can give its positioning service to. Now coming and talking a bit more about this, understand IRNIS actually has 7 operational satellites. The constellation of IRNIS actually has 7 satellites. Of these 7 satellites, Three of them are in the geostationary orbit and four of them are in the geosynchronous orbit. But you would be wondering, why are we discussing about IRNIS all of a sudden? See, IRNIS is not a new phenomenon. It's been there in the news for quite some period of time, for a few years in fact. Then what is the speciality that we are dealing with IRNIS today? Now understand, we are talking about IRNIS today because India has become the fourth country in the world to have its independent regional navigation satellite system which has been recognized by the International Maritime Organization as a part of its worldwide radio navigation system. So what does this mean? The India being recognized or you know IRNIS being recognized by IMO as a part of its worldwide radio navigation system. It basically means that any merchant ship or any merchant vessel or any ship that is passing through the Indian Ocean can now use NAVIC system or the IRNIS system instead of GPS up to you know 1500 kilometers from India's boundary. That is the importance as to why IRNIS has become a big news right now. Now coming and talking about IMO a little bit, understand the in International Maritime Organization is basically a United Nations specialized agency. And this agency is responsible for the safety and security of shipping and the prevention of marine and atmospheric pollution by the ships. Now, I just told you that uh, India became the fourth country that has been recognized by IMO with respect to its navigation satellite system. Before this, three other countries were recognized or three other navigation systems were recognized. The first one is that of USA, second of Russia and third of China. When you are talking about USA, it is obviously the GPS system. For Russia, it is GLONASS and for China, it is Baidu. And fortunately now, as the fourth one, India's NAVIC system or IRNIS system has also been recognized. So that's all for today. Thank you.